What's up guys, it's Amos Stilskin here, and I decided to do a Q&A video. I posted a journal about it about two weeks ago. And I actually got some questions to answer, so I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun answering these questions. i I, I got to be honest there. So, let's... I don't have a whole lot of questions, I only got about eight questions, but that's okay. So, let's start with... Zoroark 1272 and they asked asked what is your favorite OC character of yours so far well needless to say <laughs> Aquarius asks, "What's your ethnic background? Best or weirdest compliment you've ever received? Earliest childhood memory? Worst pet peeve? And if you had to choose to live without one of your five senses, which of the senses would it be?" So to answer your first question, I'm German, Sioux, Cherokee, British, possibly Welsh, but overall American. There's rumors of royalty and pirates in my family on my mom's side, but I'll never know. To answer your second question, it's usually about how I look in my age. I've had so many people guess me at 14, and I'm actually 21. So, I guess you can call it weird, perhaps you can call it best, maybe it's both, I don't know, but that's all I got. To answer your third question, uh, when I was five, I watched my dog give birth to puppies. And that's about as far as I can remember. To answer your fourth question, uh, spell check and sarcasm. Spell check is usually when my ten year old sister is correcting my spelling, and it's usually when I'm pretty well exhausted and I just don't want to deal with anything. And sarcasm, usually when it's intended to be mean. If it's intended to be funny, usually I'll catch it, but it also depends on my mood. I mean, I, I, I have ADD, so it's, it's hard for me to catch it sometimes. And for your fifth question, I would give up my eyesight. Especially if it meant to give it to somebody who's never been able to see before. That's what I would do. How do I work this thing asks. Favorite Mimi? Uh, good question. I don't know. Uh, maybe cats. But I don't know. Random Video Game Kid asks. Favorite gemstone? Well, I've actually got two favorite gemstones, Sapphire and Amethyst. They're both my favorite. They're also my favorite colors. Uh, I've got, I actually have a lot of people ask me if I was born in February because of my first name. And I know some of you already know my first name. And for those of you who don't, I'll let you guess. Um, but usually I'm just like, no. But my mom could have named me Topaz. I was born in November. The birthstone of November is Topaz. It's also known as um, Yellow or Golden Sapphire. So. But yeah. Amethyst and Sapphire. Those are my favorites. Aquarius asks once more. Are you a girly girl or a tomboy? Weirdest dream? Any languages you want to learn? Any strange obsessions? Did you have any teachers that you hated? If so, why did you hate them? Well, to answer your first question, yeah, I guess I'm more tomboy than I am girly. 
like to probably put it as simple as I can, I am probably about 10% girly. I do have those girly moments, but for the most part, I'm more of a tomboy and you know whatever. As far as my weirdest dream, uh, it's hard to say. I usually have weird dreams. I'll I'll just say the weirdest one I had recently, which was actually the other night. Actually, I'll I'll mention two of them the other night and last night because last night I had the same dream as my boyfriend's sister. So the so the first dream I want to talk about, uh, my dog chased a squirrel to the brick wall that's at that's in the backyard that separate that separates our yard from the arroyo. And for some reason, my 19-year-old cat was on the wall right next to our neighbor's fence. And so, you know, all I see is this fluffy tail to zoom up there. And next thing you know, I see my cat batting at something between the fence and, I think, bushes. And I see little claws from the squirrel kind of trying to hit my cat, too. And then next thing you know, I'm carrying him away from the wall. My cat. I'm carrying my cat away from the wall back to the house. Because we're all yelling at him to stop. I don't know why. But, and when I say all, I mean my family. And, actually, yes, there there is uh, multiple languages that I want to learn. Um, I'm actually trying to teach myself how to speak German. Um, but otherwise, I think I think German is the only other language that I actually want to learn. But I started to learn Spanish in middle school and high school, and I didn't get very far. I, I really didn't. I was... I was bad at Spanish. I know enough now to tell you that I don't speak Spanish and I don't like it in Spanish. <laughs> um, any strange obsessions? Well, what's your defini definition of strange? Um, I am still a big fan of Neopets. It's a children's website. I've been on it for, I don't know, a long time. And I still have my old McDonald's plushies that I got when I was a kid. And I got a couple of plushies from Target. And I've actually been looking for the plushies again recently. And I haven't been able to find them at Target. Um, otherwise, my obsessions are usually just phases. I will obsess over, like... For example, I'll obsess over one certain character for about a week or so, and then I'll and then it either just suddenly stops, like without warning, or I move on to something else. But it it depends. I don't know what it depends on, but it depends. And I don't think I would use the word hate for a teacher, but there there was definitely at least one that I absolutely did not like and that was a PE teacher in high school for um I won't say what her name is um at least not exactly I'll you know what? I'll just call her Mad Hatter let's just call her Mad Hatter and I'm sorry to those who are Mad Hatter fans I am just using this example just to hide this teacher's identity but um she didn't like me either uh, one one of my teachers literally said, you know, if she's not your best friend, she's your worst enemy. And that's a poor way to look at a teacher, really. Especially if they're, you know, one of your... Um... I lost the word I was going to use. But, um... But she didn't like me. And part of that was because she knew who my brother was. My older brother, anyway. And she, she didn't like my older brother. She didn't like my younger brother. She didn't like me. And despite our differences, I did the best I could to, you know, still show respect because she is, she is still older than me. I mean, yeah, I just, I tried. She, she didn't really like me because it, uh, sometimes I would forget to dress. And that was because I got my days mixed up and then she gave me a hard time asking how I got them mixed up. Well, you try to live with anxiety disorder, you... Your ring gets a little twisted too. Um, but the 
And if you have any questions about the anxiety disorder, it has gotten a lot better within the last two years. So, I'm very happy about that. But, um, I didn't like her because... Oh, why didn't I like her? I don't remember why I didn't like her. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't like her, but I didn't like her. I guess she was, well, I guess a lot of teachers could be labeled as mean, but I usually got along with my teachers, but you could feel the tension between her and I. So, yeah. 